Hello and welcome. My name is Maggie and I buy and sell stuff, mainly pots, to sell on the internet. I thought you might like to have a look at one of my latest purchases. I was attracted to this selection of blue and white. These items are by Adam's Ceramics and this is Chinese Bird. Nice condition. Attractive little plant pot holder. Ooh. That was the coloured Chinese bird. This is the blue and white one. And this is a lobed uh, shallow dish. It does have some craze in. And this is really nice. Coloured plate with all of the Chinese um, scenes around it and the Chinese bird in the centre. Unfortunately, it's chipped and has some craze in. But it's so nice. Then An open serving dish or terrine. Haven't got a lid. Don't know. Don't know whether you could fit a lid in in this sort of sloping style. It does have some crazing. I really bought the lot because I I really like Adams and I was attracted to these pieces. They won't fetch a, an awful lot of money, um, but I, I enjoyed myself looking them up in my book on Adams. The oh, they've got the page marked. I think that here it is. That's the page all about the Chinese bird pattern in production 1917 to 1940. They've even got a copy of a 1920s um, catalogue page. Really nice. These are notes I made for when I come to list the items. All together, those four pieces should fetch about fifty to seventy pound, and I only paid twenty-seven pound for for the whole lot. This is nice, little blue and white willow style, but it's not it's not the willow pattern. It's just in the willow style, and it's by Gibson's. But look. It is heavily stained. It does have some cracks. Just too nice to, for me to bin it. Hopefully, somebody will give it a home. I'll probably ask six to eight pounds for that. And then there's a little cube teapot in blue and white. has got some damage here on the lip, unfortunately. But it's nice Art Deco style. And then I really love this bowl by Bourne and Lee, 1930s. Like, um, they have got the pattern name on the back and they call it May Blossom. It's very much like the prunus pattern or the calico pattern that uh, came, the calico came later I think. There's a nice platter, not a large one, a nice blue and white platter, antique one. 
and uh, there's no maker's marks. There is a little impress number 31 and that looks like a number 18 on it. But that's all. It's really, really nice. You can see the, the little dots on it here. These are called stilt marks. They were the, um, they were kept apart from the, from the next stack in the kiln. And there was a couple of modern pieces in there. And these probably fetch more. <laughs> little incense candle oil wax burner. Nice spongeware pattern. No, no mark on it. Quite modern. And nice, nice bowl. Very good condition. Not that old. Again, it's got some oriental marks on the bottom and I can't tell the difference between Chinese and Japanese. That's awful, isn't it? But I can't. And then this is nice. Again, modern. Quite a nice shape. Um, nice yellow, with like a lion on the on the hand side. It's not a handle as such, but it's like like a decoration of a handle. And then the inside's got lovely like lion. They lotus. I think they're lotus um, leaves, aren't they? Really nice. And it's got a Chinese mark on the bottom, but it's quite modern. And the other items in the lot were, were, this, were these booze, um, real old willow. I can't remember whether it's real old willow or old real willow. <laughs> There's two nice soup plates. Great for pasta. I think they're date impressed 1916 or 18. They're both in quite good condition for their age, very good condition. Then there's two pl oval platters, small one, it does have a chip just there. And you can see it's age on the other side. And I think the larger one also has a chip. Hmm. Can't see it on there. Oh, it's got a crack. You can see the crack there. Quite aged looking. I think I have quite aged looking at over a hundred as well. This plate's in quite nice condition. Can't see any chips. This one's not in too bad a neck either. A bit more wear on the other side. And then the last two plates have quite a bit of wear. This crazing on this. Badly crazed on the back of it. There's a chip on the edge there. Oh, and this one has a crack. Crazing. Very crazed on the back. And there you can see the crack. So that's unfortunate, but to be expected with plates that are over a hundred years old. There's a couple of little pieces of Delft. And a little willow. Oh, it's George Jones by the looks of it. That's nice. Dainty little piece. And then this really nice terrine. Little little sauce terrine. With its ladle. It's in Fortunately, although the terrine itself is in very good condition, the lid is not. Doesn't look too bad on that side, but you can see 
it's been glued and even has some very old sellotape holding it together. And that's it. Those are the, my recent pur purchases, some nice blue and white. And hopefully there might be something there that you like. I'll be taking the photographs of them now and then I'll be listing them and putting them on eBay. Take care. See you soon. Bye.